Alrighty, hello guys! Uh, whoa, what just happened to my voice? Alrighty, hello guys! Welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with the small military ship, as you guys can see right here. Uh, in the end of the previous video, I actually ended up turning it blue. I really don't like this colour, so we're going to change it back. Uh, again, which is going to be awesome. Uh, but today what I figured we'd actually do is add some stability system to the bottom because we need fins uh, that actually stabilize it a little bit. Because when we turn at the minute, the uh, the helipad actually goes into the water. We don't really want that to happen, so we're going to fix that. Uh, the other thing is, uh, we also want to add some fire suppression to the actual engine room uh, as well, if we can do that. So I think if we can, we're going to try and get both of those things done today. Let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? <laughs> Okie dokie, so first things first, we are going to try and uh, build this so that we actually have a stability system in the bottom. Uh, so in the bottom, we're going to go ahead and delete a good few little bits like this, which is going to be awesome. Uh, we're then going to go on the inside, we're going to grab it by this colour, and we're going to do this. There we go, awesome. Uh, so that's all pretty good. We're then going to paint all of this so that it all works. Hey, there we go, excellent. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is I want to change the color of the entire thing back to this color because it's lighter, it's easier to work with. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Yes, we're now going to go to the front and we're going to delete these bits at the front. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, five will do. Yep, probably. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and put this in like so. We're going to make all of these the right colors. There we go, excellent. And that's going to be great. Okay, so... Now we need some rudders. Actually, control surfaces uh, is what we need. So we're actually going to go with medium fins uh, if we could fit them in. We can't currently fit them in, so we're going to do this instead, uh, which is going to mean two of these. Kind of an interesting solution, but there you go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and whack that in there, and that is excellent. That is excellent. All right, there we go. So that's in. Uh, we're then going to do the same thing at the other side, at the back, uh, and do it again. So one at the back, and then one further forwards. Just like so. And then we're going to go on the inside. We're going to put one of these in. And we're going to build this in as it should be. There we go. Excellent. So, now that we've got both of those in like that, this thing should be more stable than it was. Already, without doing anything to those. Uh, so, that's good. But what we need is one of the stability systems off one of my previous boats. So, let's go get that. Okie dokie, so I've actually grabbed the thing that we need, which is this thing right here. We're going to bring this forwards, we're going to bring it upwards, and we're going to try and place it uh, in this area somewhere. I guess all the way at the top would be fine. So we're going to go ahead and bring this up, we're going to put it right there, and we're going to paste it on. There we go, awesome. So this is essentially our stability thing. Um, we're going to go with fins left is obviously this side, so we're going to put them there. We're also going to take it to the back ones and put them there as well. And then we're going to do the other side um, the other way. So obviously right side, we want this one and this one. And we also want this one and this one. There we go. So that's all good. We're going to go ahead and attach this to here as well. Excellent. We're going to do these ones because it makes sense to. We're then going to go forwards. We're going to attach these guys uh, to it. There we go. Very good. And this one as well. So if we can bring this to here and both of these. Okay, excellent. So that's all good. We'll attach all of those to the right thing. And that is brilliant. The other thing, we need a tilt sensor. Alright, so we need an actual tilt sensor. We're going to grab one of these. Uh, we're going to put it in here at the top. In fact, we'll probably just put it on the top. Um, so yeah, nearest to the center of mass, which is actually around here. So there we go. Uh, and I think that'll be fine. Yeah, so just connect this up with the tilt sensor thingamabobby on this. And hopefully that will be good. Tilt roll. There we go. Excellent. So the last thing that we actually need is our speed. Speed sensor. That's what we're going to do next. So speed sensor. Is actually going to go on it. That's fine. Attach the speed sensor to the speed. And that should be good. So, let's go ahead and spawn it in. Uh, it's all got electricity, so that's all good. Let's go ahead and get this thing moving. And hopefully it'll all work out, maybe. So if we turn... I think we've made it worse. <laughs> I, think, I think we've made it worse. In fact, I believe we've definitely made it worse. What the heck? Okay, so what might have happened there is we might actually need these guys to be the other way up. So we're going to go ahead and cut these, flip them over, turn them around, paste them on. Uh, if I've done that right, that would be brilliant. I think I have. So paste that there, merge this on with this. There we go. Excellent. Now come backwards and do the same thing. Here we go. Uh, go ahead and grab this. Here we go. Cut it. Press I, I think. Paste it in again and merge this back up. There we go. Excellent. 
Now we go to the other side and we do the exact same thing again. Um, boop, there we go. Cut it, press I, paste it back in, merge it back in, and I think that's good too. And then obviously we want to go at the front and we want to do the same thing. So uh, cut this, press I, paste it back in, merge it in, and that should be good too. All right, so now when we do it, it should fix itself rather than destroy itself. I mean, at least that's the plan. So here we go. Yeah, you see how it's keeping keeping it level? That's brilliant. Yeah, no, that totally works. The stability system is actually in. That is awesome. Yeah. Look, it keeps itself level the entire time. That is awesome. That's very, very good. I like it. Okie dokie. So now that that's done, uh, we need a fire suppression system for the engines. Now, this is a very simple or could be a very simple thing to do. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and do it with black pipes. And we're going to have it come off this wall. So essentially... We'll put that there. We'll go behind this and we'll delete this one. We're going to go ahead and grab this and we're going to do this. There we go. Excellent. And we're going to get a pipe uh, that then attaches it to there. Very good. And that's going to be awesome. Right. Delete this. We want it to go like sort of sideways, if that makes sense. So we want it to do this. We're then going to grab a straight pipe and go this way. One, two. Uh, one, two. There we go. Awesome. Grab this. Make it this color. Whack it on there. There we go, very good. And whack this on here also. There we go, do that. Do this. Grab another angled piece. Put it there. Put it there. And then we need a nozzle. One of these to go here. But we can't fit it. That's annoying. That's very annoying. We're going to have to dig into the into the roof to actually put this system in. Oh, how is that going to work? Uh, one. Oh, look, it's digging into this bit as well. This is like the worst bit that it could be in. Literally the worst bit that it could be in. Um, right, delete it back to maybe go up there and then in. Yeah, that works. Here we go. So we want to bring it to here, but using the right pipes. So if we go to pipe, we want it to come upwards first. We then want it to go inwards from up here. So angle it inwards like so. We then want it to go down from there and we want a straight piece in here. There we go. Excellent. Now we're going to paint this bit, this bit, and also this bit. And that's good. That works. So, I honestly think that that would be fine. However, I want to do it here as well uh, to make sure it is fine. But let's go with the nozzle and see if this works. So, whack that on there. Excellent. We're going to click on the... Oh, it's not the nozzle that does it? I thought you could edit the nozzle, but I guess not. Okay, right. Hang on. Go backwards from here. Delete this one. Uh, delete this one. Can we have another one right here? Or is that deleting weird bits again? No, that's actually fine. Okay, we'll actually just copy and paste this bit. So copy it, move it over, paste it in. There we go. Merge this with this. And that will be our fire suppression system for now, I guess, maybe. Put that on there. Excellent. That'll put out fire if it starts. And I think that'll be brilliant. Yeah. All right, cool. We just need to press U on this one. Bring it over to here. Paste this in. Merge it in. And there we go. Excellent. So fire suppression system somewhat done. At least for the engines. We, we might need it for everywhere else as well, but the engines are the main thing that we need it for. So I'm okay with that. Excellent. So that brings it into here. Now we need a pump. Um, pump them. Pump. Here we go. A pump. I kind of want to go with one of these ones. So we're going to try it. There we go. In. Yeah, no, this works. And we're going to obviously angle this downwards. Uh, let's say backwards, sideways. We'll bring it backwards from there. And that'll be good, I think. So backwards, then down, and then through the floor from here. So bring it down to there. Excellent. We then need to bring it in through here, which will be fine because that's just going to be a fluid pot. Yeah. No, guys, this totally works. Fluid pot. Whack it on there. We'll actually make it the same color as everything else. There we go. And that'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, it's not out of place there, so I think that's okay. So the pumps will come on if we need fire suppression, and I think that'll be A-OK. -okay. So, now we need to figure out which camera that is. Which camera is it that's actually in that room? It's the one that's here. Okay, so this is the engines and fire suppression. So, we're going to grab this. Put that there. This is going to be fire suppression. On engine. Engine. Right, okay. Engine, fire suppression. Very good. Attach that directly to there. Attach this to here. And also here. And that should work. I think that'll be fine. Also, the spray angle, um, we need it to be one. We need it to spread out loads. So we need a number somewhere uh, that is 
is one, essentially. So we're going to bring it back here. We're actually going to go ahead and put it down there. Actually, no, we'll put it up. There we go. This is going to be connected to there. It's also going to connect to there, there, and there. And we're also going to label it one. There we go. Right, so fire suppression system in. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, what else is in? We've also got the stability system in as well, which is great. So turn this on, press this. Did I? I didn't give them ele electricity, did I? I didn't give these guys electricity. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. So this needs electricity, so we'll attach it to there. This needs electricity. Do these guys need electricity? Wow. Didn't realize. Didn't realize these guys would need it, but there you go. Right, everything's in now, so it should work. In theory. Uh, in reality, though, I don't know. I don't know. All right, here we go. Yeah, there we go. So if they were on fire, which I might be able to make happen. I might actually be able to make that happen. One second. Okay, right. I'm going to try and set them on fire and then we'll uh, we'll put them out. <laughs> that sounds like a weird plan, but we're going to try it. Okay, so I can't actually seem to uh, to currently blow this up. And I think the reason is because we're actually getting a draw out of the, uh, the generators. Um, and the draw out of the generators is actually making it, it a little bit safer, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, so if they did ever set on fire, we would be able to put them out because we do have fire suppression in now and I think that's okay. So... I think I'm happy with that. The other thing that I want to do is I actually want to put some lights in there now. Um, it might not be a good time to add lights, but we will add lights anyway. So we'll have lights in the back. We'll literally just attach them on there like that. That's good. Uh, we'll have lights near the engine. We'll actually go with one there. We'll also go with one... Well, actually, we can't put any there, so that's interesting. Um, in the middle somewhere, like in the middle of here somewhere, I guess. Delete this, put this in instead, bam, and I think that'll be fine. So that's enough lights for down there, realistically. Uh, we're also going to paint this bit on the top again. There we go, awesome. Uh, we should be able to attach all of these lights to the thingamabobby in here. There we go. So obviously this is, oh, we're doing it on both sides, but that's fine, because I don't think we did anything with this one. I don't think we did. Uh, so this is actually going to be engine, room, engine, room lights there we go excellent so we can attach this to there we can then attach this to each one of these so this one this one this one this one and this one uh we need a bulkhead in there as well i think i might put a door on top of the fuel tank so it separates off both rooms uh, and then we might even separate off this at the back as well We'll have to see. I'm not too sure about that yet, but I think we will. Um, but yeah, that's actually pretty cool. That's very cool. Nice. All right, so uh, spawn this in. Did I give them all electricity? I'm not sure I did. Let's have a little look. Did I give them electricity? I don't think I did. Touch that up to there. That's fine. Touch that up to there. That's fine as well. Does this not have electricity? All right, touch that to there and there. Whoa, crazy. Uh, this can come up to here. This can come up to here. And I think we need this one to attach to there and also here. There we go. Brilliant. So I think that's all of them. Let's spawn them in. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, actually, wait. I want to paint the floor too. We're going to make it green. Is it weird to make it green on the inside? Probably. But let's do it anyway. There we go. Green on the inside. I think that's fine. Um, Unless it's not. We can make it gray. Or we could even make it like brown. There's nothing wrong with that, really. Nothing wrong with that. It just It's just a bit dark, that's all. Um, no, we'll go with green for now. All right, so spawn it in. Let's see what that does. See what it looks like. See how it works. Da -da 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 -do -do. So we sit in this seat. Close the door. Sit in the seat. Turn the lights on. That's it with it on. That's it with it off. Brilliant. We still need a way of actually getting down to the engine bay, but that's fine. So the lights all work. We can actually see pretty decently down here, even if it's nighttime. Even if it's nighttime. So that's actually pretty awesome. I do want the room to look a lot better though. I do want it to look nicer in here. So we will work on that a little bit in the future. Um, but for now, I'm actually pretty happy with this. Um, yeah. We got a stability system in. We got our fire um, suppression system in as well, which is awesome. Uh, and it actually still looks okay down here, which is, is also awesome. So for now, I think I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.